Hey everybody, and welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's completely free. Just hit that big red subscribe button. I put out new videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays with the occasional bonus live video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use weeding boxes, and it makes cutting small fonts and small designs so much easier when you go to weed them. We're going to use the new StarCraft HD matte vinyl. I love this stuff. It's great for cutting really small things, and it is made in the USA. I have a giveaway in another video going on right now, and it's going on until March 24th, 2020. So make sure you click the video in the link below, and I will link it at the end of this video as well for you guys so that you can enter. You simply just need to comment on that video. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and give that video a big thumbs up. So make sure you do it on that video. Let's go over to Design Space so that I can show you how to set up a weeding box. I'm going to show you guys how to do a weeding box. They're super handy. They do take a little bit more vinyl, but sometimes when you're doing a smaller design, they can be extra helpful. So what we're going to do is use one of our designs that we uploaded, and I'm going to use this I Was Made for Saving Animals. Go ahead and insert that. It's, this one is pretty large, and it's super cute. Now, I know that my max height is about 2.5 inches, so up here at the top, right where it says size, I'm just going to change the height to 2.5 inches, and then I don't have to really worry about resizing it. Now, I don't love these little swirlies right here. They're not my favorite. It's just not, like, for me, a look that I like. I think it takes away from the design. So what I'm going to do is go down here and find the swirls, which are right here in this group, and I'm just going to go ahead and delete them. Like I said, for me, just not kind of the look that I'm going for. Now, if you haven't watched it yet, but you should, I have a video teaching you how to fix kind of crazy SVGs. Because right now, if I click make it on this, look at what it does. Crazy, right? So all you have to do with this one, I'm going to actually weld it versus attach it. Just because I'm lazy. But you could absolutely attach it. But I like to weld a lot of times because it, then instead of having all these extra pieces, you just have one thing. And I'm never going to really change it up, so I'm just going to weld it. So now what you'll need to do is get a shape, and I'm going to use a square. And you'll just need to size it down so that your decal or your design fits inside of it. I'm going to move it to the back so that I can see my design. And then all I'm going to do is make my square smaller so that my design fits in the middle of it. You don't want to go too, too small, but you do want to make sure that you are keeping it relatively small to your design. I'm going to select both of my items by drawing a box around them, and I'm just going to align them center. And now we want to attach them. The reason we're attaching them is so that they stay cutting out in that exact way that we have them laid out. It's going to change your decal to whatever color your square is, but don't worry, it's totally fine because you're going to weed away the square. We're going to click on make it and we are going to go over to the machine. Now we are using the StarCraft HD. I will link below. We are having a giveaway, but you need to make sure that you enter at the link below. You'll need to comment on that video and make sure you're subscribed to my channel and give that video a big thumbs up. So we're going to click on continue. Again, I'm cutting this with my maker. We're going to cut this on the purple matte StarCraft HD. So what I'm going to do is select vinyl. Now, my blade is really getting old, so I'm going to cut mine with more pressure, but I recommend doing a test cut or two when you start using any new product and figuring out which way you need to cut it. But for me, because I have an older blade, I find the more pressure setting to work really well. Let's go over to the machine, and you guys can watch it cut. We are ready to cut, so I have just loaded our mat with our purple um, matte StarCraft HD. I'm going to go ahead and load this in, and then we're going to hit the go button, and I'm going to let you guys watch this cut. So now that we have cut it out and unloaded it from our mat, we just simply need to weed it. And remember we used a weeding box. Now I tested it down here so you can see where I've cut it out. But what we're going to do is use our pin pen. And all you have to do is find where the box cut and lift up that corner. And again, this is the StarCraft HD. I love this stuff. It works so well, especially for these little tiny cuts. Now I will say with all, H with all vinyl, 
you are going to need to just watch it and make sure everything does stay down. But this one I feel like just does such a great job, especially with these really small letters and pieces. These little toe beans are so tiny. Does anyone else call them toe beans or is that just me? I don't know. I just always have called them toe beans. Now the four, the last time I did this, the word four, did tend to want to like lift with my vinyl, but it's so thin. It's crazy, crazy thin. So what I'm going to do is use my pin pen and just sort of help it stay down. And like I said, you're probably going to see some lifting no matter what vinyl you used on this design because this is such a teeny, teeny, tiny design. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, use my finger, use my pin pen just to help hold my letters down. And then you're just going to kind of slowly go and make sure that that whole one stayed down. But you can see how well these bigger letters are staying down. I think this is one of my favorite things about this is how small I cut these. Like the G's kind of giving me a little trouble, but that gave me trouble before too because it is a teeny tiny spot. But it is just, it's so easy to work with. The little dots and the eyes stay down. I just love this stuff. And like if you need to help it stay down, it's totally normal. It's not uncommon for just a little bit of lifting, but I do find the second that you help this stay down, it doesn't lift again, which I love. Like the S's always give me trouble no matter what vinyl I use, just because of the way they are, the vinyl is in them. But look at that, so easy with this weeding box. And like you can see, I did it in one piece. So now all we have to do is get the centers of our letters out which is really, really easy. And I just used the piece that I didn't, or the, you know, the weeding box part. And I just used that to stick my extra vinyl tube. Now I will say this A is a little bit thin on the one side and I had a little bit of trouble with it when I tested this. So what I'm gonna do is just very carefully use my pin pen and run it just along the edge of the vinyl. That's one of my little tricks is with this pin pen, it makes it so easy to do that. If you're having trouble with it not staying down, you can just use your pin pen and go around the edge just to loosen it a little bit. But I find I have far less of that when I am using the StarCraft HD. Again, this is Purple Matte and it is one of my favorites. This does come in the pack that you could win in that other video. Again, that video is linked in the description below. If you don't see the description, please click the little arrow that is in the lower right hand corner, especially if you are on mobile because it won't always show the full description. So just be sure to click that and you can enter to win. That is going on for a few more days. So now we just gotta get these centers out of this F. Now this F is really tiny, so I wanna make sure I'm really, really careful with this one. And all I'm gonna do is just take my pin pen and for this one I'm just gonna push it off because I find that works really well with these little ones. Instead of trying to pick it, because it tends to want to lift everything, I just kind of push it off and it comes off really easy. So look at that, super easy to do, really simple. Now what I'm gonna do is take an X-Acto knife and this one is from 651, I love it, it's really comfortable. I find some of the ones from like the hardware store and stuff are not super comfy. So all I'm gonna do is run my X-Acto knife down the edge and I'm not pressing super hard, but the mats can handle it. It's not a big deal. You're not gonna cut through your mat. But we're gonna just go along the edge of where our weeding box is. And like I said, this does take a little bit more vinyl, but I did think it was kind of easy to do with this. The weeding box really made it simple. And it's great if you're working with multiple words. With just one single quote, you don't necessarily need it, but it can be really handy. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this off. Oops, and I didn't quite get the corner matched up so the corner is not going to come off but we'll pull this out of the way and then we'll pull this off and slide our mat out of the way look at that isn't that adorable and look, seriously look how little those little toes are they're so teeny tiny and the word four is so little i'm going to get the candle and then i'll show you guys how to apply it the next thing that you'll need to do is apply transfer tape and i'm using some medium tack that I got from 651, it is my favorite. And all I'm gonna do is just lightly take my squeegee and burnish my design. Again, you don't have to push really hard or anything. And then rather than pulling my vinyl off this way, I'm gonna take it and flip it over. So it's this direction. And I'm gonna peel the backing off of the vinyl versus pulling the vinyl off the backing. It just makes it so much easier. And look at how simple that was. Super easy, really quick, 
didn't take much time at all. So this is the candle that we're going to use. Now I have used it before. I burn, I don't burn my candles because we have caps. So I melt them. They last forever. This is a Bath and Body Works one. And this is Lilac Blossom. And I wish you guys, I wish, mm, I wish Smell-O-Vision existed because this smells so gosh darn good. It is awesome. So what I'm going to do is lay my candle on the side and you can put it on any side you want and you can actually leave like the scent label on it. I didn't leave that on there. I took it off, but you could leave that on and put your design on the other side. It's just personal preference, but I took it off, but this makes such a great gift. I love doing these for friends and family. It's just a nice way to personalize a simple gift. So all I'm going to do is lay my decal on there. Don't have to be too crazy with it. It's pretty easy to get these lined up because you can use the edge of your candle wax. So all we're going to do is burnish it. And what I love is that this is a high durability. So this has a five to six year outdoor life, which means inside it's going to last way longer. It is so nice. It's made in the USA, but this is the mat. And I think it just looks so pretty and it can withstand. Oops, we lost a bean, lost a little toe. That's okay. We are, um, what I was saying is this can actually withstand the heat of the candle. So you don't have to worry because think about it this way. Your car sits in like direct sunlight when you use this stuff and it gets super hot. So you should be absolutely fine to put this on a candle, even if you burn it or melt it. And look at that. I love it. It came out so gosh darn cute. This one is obviously for me, but I'm going to make some of these to donate to our local animal rescue for when they do fundraisers because these are perfect. And for those, I do leave the scent label on the other side, but I put this on just to add a little cute added touch and it just makes it a little bit more fun. These make amazing baby shower gifts, wedding gifts, housewarming gifts, pretty much any time you can come up with a way to gift a candle. It is never a bad time. Everyone loves a good candle. And especially if you can personalize it. These are really, really fun. Again, this is Starcraft HD Matte Purple. I am doing a giveaway in another video, so make sure that you do check that out. It is the first link in the description below. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I am always happy to answer those for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and sometimes you get the occasional bonus video like this one. Have a wonderful day, and happy crafting!